We need to talk about the legend of the Bell Witch. It's probably the most haunted legend of Southern folklore. It happened between 1817 and 1821 when the Bell Witch claimed to have taken the life of John Bell Sr. I know, it sounds crazy and straight out of Hollywood, but there is actually a death certificate on record that shows the cause of death is supernatural. The legend of the Bell Witch has become a recent obsession of mine, and I still can't explain it. The basic story is around 1817 in Robertson County, Tennessee, the Bell family started to become haunted by an entity. They said it started as seeing an apparition out in the field, then it turned into noises inside of their home. Eventually, this entity would have full conversations with all of the community, not just the Bell family, and could manifest physical objects out of thin air. But the weird part is that so many people experienced these things. While the hauntings were definitely geared towards the Bell family, the entire town kind of got haunted by this as somewhat of collateral damage. It's said that the Bell witch would attend church services and could repeat the entire sermon word for word, but not just repeat it, repeat it in the voice of the preacher. And it wasn't the Bell family that was hearing it, it was other community members that were hearing this. From what I can gather, the Bell witch would visit other properties, but the hauntings were mostly geared towards the Bell family. It should be noted that the term witch wasn't actually about witchcraft at all. It was haunting, ghost, spirit. You could replace it with any of those words. It was just an entity and witch was just the term that stuck. No one's ever really been able to pinpoint why this entity was attached to the Bell family. It took different forms at different times during the years, but overall was usually a feminine voice and really loved John Bell Sr.'s wife, Lucy, and meddled in the lives of the children, including their daughter, Betsy. The biggest question that I have about all of this is if it was somebody doing this? How did so many different people experience things? And these were upstanding members of the community. They didn't want people coming to their town to see this bell witch, or so they say. So what would the motive really be? And how could this entity be in so many different places at once? Taking on the form of different voices, being able to mimic someone's voice? After years of torment, the bell witch claimed the life of John Bell Sr. We now know that it was arsenic poisoning just based on the science of what happened. But who put that poison there? And why was it never investigated? But the bell witch claimed that she had done what she came to do and hung around the property a little bit longer before finally disappearing around 1828, I believe. It's also interesting that nothing was really documented prior to about 1893. There were stories here and there, but nothing of real substance until the authenticated book of the Bell Witch was released, which was long after the hauntings had happened. You can still visit the Bell Witch Cave today, and I am doing an entire series on this because I think the story itself is absolutely fascinating. But this was just kind of the basic outline of what the Bell Witch was and what happened in the town of Robertson County. If you have any theories or questions, let me know because I'd love to keep this conversation going.